They're jammin'. Kate and Prince William bash the bongos in Trench Town. Jamaica's birthplace of reggae immortalized by Bob Marley filled circle Kate Middleton and Prince William played the bongos in Trench Town and visited Bob Marley's house the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge traveled to the reggae legends home in the Kingston neighborhood Kate and William also tried out a bobsleigh under the watchful eye of Jamaica's latest cool runnings team the royal couple's visit has been mired by controversy and calls for reparations for British slavery the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge traveled to the reggae legends former home now a museum in the Kingston neighborhood and played drums with some reggae musicians in the courtyard where Jamaica's biggest superstar learned to perform. There was mass hysteria in the neighborhood as the royal couple were mobbed by crowds who chanted, We love you, we love you, as they walked to Trench Town Culture Yard and Museum in Jamaica's capital. The royal couple's visit, part of a tour celebrating the Queen's Platinum Jubilee this year, has been mired by controversy, as they arrived in the country amid calls for the monarchy to pay reparations for its role in slavery. Earlier, Protesters gathered at the British Embassy in Kingston with placards and accused the monarchy of benefiting from the blood, tears and sweat of slaves. Anti-colonial sentiment has been growing across the Caribbean against the background of the Black Lives Matter movement in recent years, with Jamaican politicians calling for the Queen to be dropped as head of state and for a formal acknowledgement of slavery. A royal source said the Duke was aware of the protests and was expected to acknowledge the issue of slavery in a speech on Wednesday night during a dinner hosted by the Governor-General of Jamaica. Prince William and Kate play music during a visit to Trench Town Culture Yard Museum where Bob Marley used to live the visit to Marley's former home and the brief match was designed as a celebration of the singer's twin passions. Marley who died in 1981 from skin cancer at the age of 36, was a keen amateur footballer who played regularly in Battersea Park when he lived in London. He supported Tottenham and the Brazilian team Santos. The royal couple were welcomed to Trench Town by Babsy Grange, Minister of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sport, and Mark Golding, the leader of the He and Kate went into the room where Marley wrote some of his best-known music. They were also shown around the singer's sparse bedroom containing a stool and a single bed near a mural on a wall. Before they left, the couple went into a neighboring courtyard where a group of reggae musicians were singing Rastafarian Nyabingi chants backed by drummers Kate was quickly coaxed into trying out a drum, but William took more convincing before joining in a royal jamming session with the singers and other drummers. Chatting to women and men from the bobsleigh team, the Duke and Duchess also talked about the popular movie Cool Runnings which immortalized the 1988 Jamaican Winter Olympics team. Those gathered burst into rapturous applause every time the football star touched the ball and gave screams for the Duke, some of them ironic, when he fluffed a shot. Dozens of locals stood behind a wire fence to watch the sporting spectacle unfold and others sat on roofs to get a better view. Dispensation by England manager Gareth Southgate to travel to Jamaica ahead of the national team playing at the weekend, and the Royal were joined on the pitch by a player from Williams' beloved Aston Villa team Jamaican Leon Bailey. The England striker, who was mobbed by the spectators, said about his Southgate, he said to me an opportunity like is a great one and it's an experience that will live with you forever he was there as part of his efforts to improve social mobility for young people. His Raheem Sterling Foundation has set out plans to work with partners in Jamaica, Manchester and London to give disadvantaged youths opportunities to break out of poverty. It follows reports that Jamaica is ready to move towards removing the Queen as head of state and becoming a republic as soon as William and complete their Caribbean tour. The Advocates Network Coalition of Jamaican Politicians, Business Leaders, Doctors and Musicians wrote an open letter detailing 60 reasons why the monarchy should compensate the country. It is now understood that Jamaica's decoupling has been discussed at the highest levels in government, with one political source even saying a senior figure had been appointed to oversee the changeover. Marlene Malahu Forte, who was Jamaica's attorney general until January, in December told the local newspaper Jamaica Observer that she had received instructions from Prime Minister Andrew Holness to reform the constitution to become a republic. A senior government official speaking to Bazaar.com said it will be full steam ahead in the coming weeks and months, and another source added that while there had been some pushback from members of parliament it was not the majority. It is unclear how the plans will now progress, as both sources said there are no plans for a referendum, which would be required under Jamaica's constitution and makes the move more complicated than in smaller Barbados, which was able to make the change via an act of parliament.